Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Saiburi, which is in Patani in the very far south of Thailand. And this area is known for Nambudu, which is a fermented fish sauce. It's a huge part of the local Malay culture and food. And so today we're going to a restaurant that specializes in fermented fish sauce, along with just an incredible, unbelievable spread of Malay food, Malay dishes. We're gonna have a giant meal, and then after that we'll visit a yard, a factory, uh, which is right across the border in Naratiwat, uh, where they specialize, where they make the fermented anchovy sauce. So it's gonna be an incredible day of food and I'm gonna share everything with you in this video. So we're actually starting this tour in Saiburi, which is actually in Patani, but very close to the border with Naratiwat. And we're having lunch at a restaurant that serves nasi ulang, which is rice and a choice of different things and vegetables and budu, uh, which is fermented anchovy sauce. This restaurant is located at the petrol station uh, right here. And I can't wait for the food. The Malay food, the culture. Yeah. <laughs> It's a full buffet style. Um, so many vibrant Malay dishes. Yeah, amazing. And uh, the real thing that you come to eat here along with your rice is the different condiments, the vegetables and the condiments. Budu song kreng, which is a, a mix of the nambudu, which is the fermented anchovy sauce. And they also have tempoya, it's called tempoya or tempoyak, which is fermented pickled durian, extra ripe durian, one of my favorite condiments, one of my favorite foods in the world. An absolutely amazing spread of food. Um, everything Saiburi, Patani, Naratiwat style. Everything is fish actually, almost everything is fish, a variety of different fish. There's fish gale with the sauce all over it, the coconut milk sauce. There is uh, fish that's stuffed and grilled, there's some fried fish. I think even more than the fish though, the highlight is the platter of fresh vegetables. A huge basket of assorted vegetables with all the different sauces and there's four different sauces. The one that I cannot, I almost cannot even control my excitement is the tempoya, which is the fermented durian, just loaded with chilies. Um, there's a budu sauce, there looks like a shrimp paste sauce, and maybe two budu sauces, but wow, food looks unbelievable, and it smells incredible. This is the real, the real deal local food here. Oh man, the dishes just keep on coming. What an insane display of food. I think they're just bringing us one of everything. Dip a cucumber into that tempoyak. Oh, yes. It's, oh, oh man. Oh, you can smell it. Oh, how I remember you. The beautiful aroma of tempoyak. And normally in Malaysia, it's called tempoyak, but here in Patani, Malay, it's called tempoyak, tempoyak. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's spectacular. Oh, there's nothing like it in the world. Fermented, sour, salty, and the chilies in that one are incredible too. Oh, that's like one of the most aromatic, pungent foods on earth. You could eat it like pudding. Oh, it's so good. That single bite alone is worth coming here. I'll try the voodoo next. Oh, wow. The voodoo is incredible, too. Mm. With lime in it, with chili. Oh, it's not sweet at all, but just, but just pungently salty and fishy. Oh, I love it. Oh, that umami is intense. It is a coconut milk kind of barbecue sauce on, I think, oh, that even feels like fried fish, I think. Fried fish underneath. Uh, I think it's mackerel. I think it's mackerel. And look at the, the thickness of that sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna put this onto my rice. Let me taste this, and I'm going with my, with my fingers to just, I gotta feel the food. Mm. Yeah, it tastes better with the 
Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. It's so rich, so much flavor. Oh wow. Yeah, it's awesome. And then this is another type of fish. It's stuffed with a chili paste or a curry paste and then grilled. That is a beautiful fish as well. I want all of that, all of that curry paste in there. Incredible too. The curry paste stuffed into it. You taste turmeric, a lot of turmeric. Maybe lemongrass. And then there's that amazing smoky fish. The fish is very firm. And this one is chicken grilled on lemongrass kebabs. That's like a minced chicken sausage. The lemongrass flavor. Um, because of the, I mean, it's grilled on lemongrass, on lemongrass skewers. And then you taste a little bit of chili in there. Maybe like a, an acidity from maybe kaffir lime leaf. Mm, and it just kind of crumbles in your mouth. Mm. Okay, I'll save the rest of this for, for later. And let's explore some of the other dishes. This is a, it's a bit... Pak siang dong. It's a boil, it's a, a pickled vegetable with some fish with chilies and onions. Ah, okay. You add a few more of those chilies on there. Mm. Oh, yeah. The vegetable is a little bit tangly, but it has kind of a mellow, vinegary, just pleasant to eat kind of taste to it. And then you've got the boiled fish in there, you've got the chilies, you've got the, the sliced up shallots or onions in there. Mm. That just kind of like cuts the richness of the other sauces. That's really good, kind of a mellow flavor, but just a light vinegary taste to it, pickled taste to it. Back to the sauces. This one is budu with coconut milk. Oh, that's awesome. I've never had that before. You gotta mix that with the rice because it's kinda it's kinda salty. And maybe the the chili too. You'll break the chili up. This is the way to really taste the real flavor of the budu, just with rice only. Oh man. Spicy. Spicy but so much flavor. That tastes like cheese, actually. It tastes, it has a cheese flavor to it because it's so fermented, but it's such a harmony of flavor. Such a like powerful boost of salty fishiness. Oh, it's good. And then with the, I guess with the, the coconut milk, it almost probably tames down it, the flavor a little bit, mellows it down, but it's still pungent, flavorful, and just exciting. Okay, next fish, it's a sweet fish. It's a sweet fish, especially... Fish bowl. Ah, like a braised. A sweet fish that you specifically eat with the, with the budu. Okay. Which, which budu should I eat with this one? Okay. Yam budu. With the yam budu? Okay. okay, I'll go with the... This one is the, the salad or the, the dressing made with the budu. Okay, and then you can add some vegetables to it. Maybe break that off. You can mix with the with the budu with the fish with rice and vegetables all in one one perfect harmony of a bite. Wow! Some of the most exciting flavors you can possibly put in your mouth. But again, that budu, but the, this one is the mix, so it has, you taste the citrus in there. It tastes like calamansi. Like, almost like a orange lime kind of flavor to it. But again, just like sharply contrasted by the budu sauce. The chilies in there, I think there's finely shaped lemongrass, and maybe kaffir lime as well. That is incredible though. Like, the flavor, it is very salty. Meant to mix and be a sauce but you could literally drink it. 
it's that good. Okay, we've got to try next the, the soup kai ban, which is a chicken soup. <laughs> Onto the rice, a little, little bit more of that broth. You can see the chilies in there, you can see the, the crispy shallots and the lime juice. That's just like a uh, relaxing to the mouth after you taste the, the stronger flavors of the voodoo of the tempura. That's just soothing. The combination, the contrast of the lime juice, the crispy shallots, the chicken broth. It has been too many bites without tempura. I need to circle back to the tempura. Some of the tempura down on the rice, a little bit. What should I mix with the tempura? The voodoo? Boudou. Mix boudou. Boudou. The pure boudou. Okay. And you want to mix the pure boudou or the boudou with the, the coconut milk. And you can just eat this with rice. You can eat it with you can eat it with anything. Maybe it vegetables is a good is a good idea. To mix to mix that around in your right. Oh, I've got a little leftover fish from last bite. Okay. I would eat every single bite with tempoya. Tempoya, tempoya. Nothing compares. Again, once you go, once you go tempoya, you cannot go back. Once you go fermented durian, you just, there's no, there's no going back in life. It's only forward with tempoya. Nothing excites your mouth anymore after you eat fermented durian. Oh, what a meal. What a diverse spread of dishes the freshness, the fermented flavors, the saltiness, the just the, the natural foods that come from this region of the Malay Peninsula. Man, this is like outstanding food. And then finally another fried fish. Maybe just take a... I'll just mix it with that tempoyak with those other... I love, I love the quantity of vegetables. It makes the entire meal so refreshing, so natural, so healthy. Mm. Perfect. how there's chilies already in it, built into the fermented durian. And as I was taking a bite, she brought another dish. This is the boiled vegetables. There's shrimp in here, boiled in coconut milk. So you put this onto your, you put this onto your rice, and then you add a little bit of, you add a little bit of the pure budu. Just combination after combination. And that's incredible because you got the richness of the coconut milk with the, the salty flavor of the budu and then just the tender boiled vegetables. Food here is outstanding. Oh. Literally, straight home cooking. And then, it's so focused on the Nambudu. It all revolves around the Nambudu. And this is the center. This is where all of the Budu from Thailand originates, comes from, um, in this area called Saiburi. And so you better believe that is the best Budu. That is the best Budu experience I've ever had. Oh man, straight from the source. And as I'm devouring this basket of vegetables, you keep discovering new herbs, new vegetables. Uh, I found the, the fern down here. And what you do with the fern, or what they said is you, you take a fern, kind of roll it up, roll it up into a, a ball or a little tight bundle, and dip that into the, the budu. 
Hmm. I mean, you can do eat anything with that voodoo and it would be good. <laughs> okay, one more. Has to be temple yak. <laughs> wow. Lasse. Lasse. Oh, it's a sweet dish? Or a... Uh, no. no, no. It's not dessert. Oh, it's another. It's another. Oh, I think I have had it in Malaysia. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Last say. Coconut milk is fish. Wow. It's a bit awesome. Another dish. It's called lasse. They're like noodle rolls with a fish curry and uh, fried chilies on top. Mm. Oh, wow. That's incredible. The, they just melt in your mouth. They're like really thick, really hearty noodles. But really soft and fluffy at the same time and wrapped in rolls. Um, and then that curry, you taste the fish. It has a sweet coconut milk flavor and then contrasted by that spicy fried chili. Chinese rice. It is Thai Um This looks spicy. And you can see the you can see the bamboo shoots in there. You can see the chilies. Geng tom bla. Geng pom bla. Geng po o geng pung bla. Geng pung bla. Okay. This is the fermented fish entrails or stomach. I'm already beginning to go into a little bit of a, a food frenzy. I'm I'm starting to fly from the food already and the flavors and the chilies and the tempoya. Oh, that's insane. Oh, wow. That is intensely salty and fermented and spicy. You taste the pepper in there. Oh, man, and those fried dry chilies are spicy, too. They're starting to kick in. I'm starting to sweat with joy and happiness and with heat. That is insane. Okay, I'm starting to get to that stage where I can't really think or function anymore. This is like the inner stuffing of that grilled fish. Oh, I got a couple of tamarind seeds. So it has this tart, sour tamarind taste to it. But so much turmeric in there. I think lemongrass and garlic. Oh, it's, it is, what a fish stuffing. Oh man, and thank you to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Makasi. Oh man, they are amazing, amazing food. Some of the best you can have. The budu, the tempoya. All the flavors are just coating my mouth. Wow. Nasi Ulang. Oh, and it, the restaurant is called. Yeah. What is the restaurant called? Uh, Krua Nasi Ulang. Krua Nasi Ulang. Yes. Oh, okay. Krua Nasi Ulang. Krua is Thai for kitchen, and then Nasi is rice in Malay, and then Ulang is vegetables. Vegetable kitchen, kitchen rice vegetables, but so many flavors. What a meal. Oh, that is awesome. On the way out, Karimakasi. Oh, this is the greatest gift you could get. Oh man, once you eat tempoya, fermented durin, tempoya, you will never, your tongue will never forget it. And the combination with that budu, this is the budu capital right here in Saiburi, and this is the source of it. This is where it's made, where it's produced, the best of the best. So this is a very special gift, and that was an unbelievably tasty meal. Terimakase, terimakase, terimakase. Okay, we gotta, we gotta move on, but this might be the most delicious gas station in the world. Bye-bye, see you next time. Terimakase. <laughs> Man, what amazing, amazing people. Wow. Okay. We have crossed 
just over the border from Patani to Naratiwal. Welcome to Naratiwat, and we've stopped. We're just in the first district. I think it's called Pracha. Yeah, in Pracha. And this is a complete surprise stop. I didn't know we were gonna. We're stopping at a Budu factory where they are fermenting the anchovies, fermenting the fish sauce to make the national ingredient, the the ultimate ingredient flavor enhancer of Malay cuisine. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. I didn't even realize at first, but immediately if you pay attention, your nose just fills up with the aroma of fermented fish. And what a, what a this might be the most awesome factory I've ever seen. Just like a hundred clay jars sitting out in the sun, rotting on purpose fish. And that's what we, we had just eaten for lunch. So it's gonna be, make it even more meaningful to see how it's made, how it's fermented. Wow. Seven months, okay. And when is it ready to eat? After uh, how many? And okay. Ben bla bla like um. Ah, Anchovy, chai mai. Anchovy, chai mai All it is is fish and salt, and left to sit for about seven months. It ferments, it ages for seven months, um, and then it's ready. But that cheesy aroma is incredible. The ultimate flavor that it produces, it just blows your taste buds as we already know that from the meal we ate previously, but what a cool place. What a cool place. And this is the home, this is the home of Bunu. Around 150 and salt around 70 kilograms. Oh, 150 kilos of fish and and salt. Salt, 70 kilos of salt. Muddy and murky and almost milky looking. Nampla, like nampla. Ah, like nampla. Uh, we call budu namsai. Ah, budu namsai. But if you stir, budu nampon. Ah. Namsai harau. Bangkon chop pan bap sai sai. We came. Bangkon chop pan bap. Hey, man. Miss can. Hey, man. Namsai harau. Namsai harau. This. Ah, okay. Namsai is like clear, um, and. So the top that settles on the top, that's the clear fish sauce. Uh, but then if you mix it, then that's the whole like uh, murky, dark, fermented fish chunks just dissolved into a liquid. Okay. Ah. Nothing like tasting something from the source, from the spot, right from the fermenting aging barrel. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, it's salty, but it's just like unbelievable flavor. Wow, that's cheesy, that is fishy, that is fermenty. Oh man, the umami that is, <laughs> and every single drip of that is so powerful. Wow, <laughs> sada, sada. <laughs> but yeah, you can't just like, you can't just be drinking that. That's, a, that's very salty, yes. <laughs> that can flavor so many dishes. And it is not an accident how these barrels are sitting out in the hot sun. It is blazing hot out here. The sun is so incredibly strong. I can feel it just burning on my face. And that's the kind of heat that ferments the fish that breaks it down. Uh, and that's why this area is so known for budu and fermented fish sauce. What a process. What a what a yard of fermenting fish. <laughs> Amazing to see. And that gives it all the more meaning next time I eat Nambudu. <laughs> Terima kasih. Yeah. Yes. You can make a research. Uh, nampla. Ah, okay. oh, nampla. Again, the friendliness. Some more Budu gift. Um, and this is just straight, no name, no brand, just straight from the source, bottled. Oh, this is liquid flavor overdose. <laughs> the 
it was an unbelievable day. Uh, the people we met, so friendly, so gracious. Um, and the budu was incredible, but the tempoya, or the tempoyak, the fermented durian, just, again, once you go there, you can't go back. That is just the next level of tongue excitement. But what an outstanding meal. Highly recommended uh, when you're in Saiburi. Definitely go check out Krua Nasi Ulang uh, for just a meal that's gonna blow your taste buds away. I'll have all the information in the description box below. And I wanna say a huge thank you to my friend Mohammed uh, from Papatagu in Patani uh, for taking us around for his just incredible hospitality. And then finally, big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon. And that way you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next video.